Yo, 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 yo. Fish Wolf Cichlids here, man. So, we're just here with another video today. Today's video is about water changes. So, water changes is the most important part of the hobby. Do you know what I'm saying? If you can't get your water changes right, your fish should die in. Do you know what I'm saying? So, taking a look at my fish, they're all doing good. And, um,. You'll get days when they're, you know what I mean, really looking colourful. Obviously because they're not all fully coloured yet. So you'll get days where they're looking a bit more colourful. You'll get days where they're just, you know what I mean, not looking that colourful. And that's another thing with the peacocks colouring again. It's because um, peacocks, you know, have got a tendency to change colours on and off. Um, and they do it, you know, within, within mood as well. So you'll get the days where they're just, where they're in the mood where they're just all dark. Um, then you'll get the days where they're just nice brightly coloured do you know what I'm saying so that's another thing with the peacocks so up until now everybody's doing fine doing good do you know what I mean so water changes most important part of the hobby um, if you're not getting your water changes right you know what I mean you're messing it all up do you know what I mean so um, that's what I would say with my experience 20 years experience do you know what I mean keeping fish I've never had a fish within that 20 years I've never had a tank turn off, you know what I'm saying? I've always had a tank running. You know, you've heard people say, yeah, I've kept fish for so long. And then uh, I, I stopped for three years and then I caught back. You know what I mean? It's none of that business here. I've always had tanks running constantly for the whole 20 years, all kinds of fish. So basically, I talk for tanks like cyclic tanks where it's just like, you know, African and American cichlids, but not like planted tanks, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not giving no you know, opinion on planted tanks because planted tanks are a different story and you know, I'm, that's not my game, do you know what I mean? So, for these kind of tanks, sickly tanks, I'd say water changes, you go on YouTube and you'd see people like, do you know what I mean? They'd be like, you see this and that, do you know what I mean? Everybody's got their own opinion, you know what I mean? You know about, you know, Oh yeah, you'll get some people say, oh, I ain't, I ain't doing a water change in a month. I, you know, and I, I don't do one every, every two weeks or so. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I'll tell you what I, I think I know is best. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for any tank, I would say, in general, apart from a planted tank, yeah? And salt water, yeah? Or water, because I don't know about salt water. Well, I do, but not, I, I'm not getting advice on that. So, Water changes, I would say, would be best once a week. Everybody, you know, once a week. You know, even if you just got a normal community tank, once a week. Now, the water change would depend on, you know, the amount of fish, the amount of, you know, waste that tank is producing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, if you've got a high volume of fish like mine, do you know what I mean? My regime's a bit different. I mean, I'm just giving a general regime for any you know anybody coming into the game thinking oh i don't know how many getting confused with water changes um if you follow this water change um touch wood as i always say it's, it's the same um yeah you know touch wood if you follow this rule you know what i'm saying um i'm, I'm sure you, you'll be fine um so the rule i'm going to mention is just once a week once a week but dependent um, the water amount that you take out of your tank should be dependent um, on the amount of stock level and the amount of waste you're producing, do you know what I mean? So, if your tank is only producing a little bit of waste, you've got community tank, you know, with just gouramis and guppies and, do you know what I mean? You know, and you're producing waste but you're not producing the amount of waste that these guys are producing, do you know what I'm saying? So, once a week, 20, 20%, 30% water change, you know what I mean? is a reasonable amount but um you know try to stick to once a week do you know what i mean you know obviously you can't stick on a fixed day or day if you can that's even better do you know what i mean but you know just at least in general once a week do you know what i mean so once a week if you you know 20 to 30 percent if you um got a low you know mess tank do you know what i mean now if you've got a tank like mine 
and um, you've got a good few fish here maybe a lot like mine mine is custom built so not nobody's gonna have one like mine <laughs> so um, unless they get another uh, uh, you know one custom built like mine do you know what I mean so um, but yeah just a general say like a four four five foot time do you know what I mean yeah um, I would say nicely stocked a 50% water change a week do you know what I mean? So a 50% water change on that tank should be done once a week. And I, 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 I believe that once weekly, a water change should be done. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you're getting rid of the waste um, of the fish, which is the poop and the stuff, you know what I mean? The mess, leftover food, all that mess. Do you know what I mean? You know, you don't, it's not nice having some swimming around in it for a month. Do you know what I mean? Or even two weeks. So I would say water change once a week is ideal and um, do your water changes and change, don't change your filter media or wash out your filter media the same day. Do your water change um, and wash out the filter media the second or the third day because basically you want to allow that water, the new water, to be filtered through that media. Do you know what I mean? So if it's filtered through that media, um, it's running through that good bacteria collection and all that, do you know what I mean, yeah? So once your new water's run through that nicely, um, and then, you know, you're, you're okay to do change your filter media. So that's my take on a water change. Um, and hopefully that's like helped somebody out, do you know what I mean? Um, once again, thanks everybody for subscribing, everybody for watching my videos everybody for liking, do you know what I mean, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, you know what I mean, somewhere on the screen, do you know what I'm saying, up top, bottom, do you know what I mean, wherever, yeah, um, you know, you'll see the subscriber button, just subscribe to my channel, click on the notifications, you know what I'm saying, so, because I'm always coming up with new stuff, um, talking about, you know, the fish, and how to maintain the fish, um, and you'll be seeing a lot of videos on my fish too, do you know what I'm saying? So, till next time, peace out.